everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you the absolutely insanely textured gorgeous leaf hopper cluster stitch. If you love all things crochet and are passionate about the craft then you have definitely come to the right place. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my future crochet videos. Now the leaf hopper cluster stitch is awesome. I mean look at that texture. I'm obsessed with it. The back works up relatively flat and you get to see these really cool wraparound bars from your clusters on the front. So I think this is awesome for textured, funky scarves, anything you want a unique look for, this is the stitch for you. Now it is a little bit tricky to begin with, so definitely take advantage of the fact I have timestamps listed so you can jump between the rows as it is a four row repeat. After a while, it becomes second nature and you won't need this video at all, but just as you get going for these offset rows, it's definitely worth using those timestamps. All right, let's leap straight into how you crochet the leaf hopper cluster stitch. To start the leaf hopper cluster stitch, pop a slip knot on your hook. The pattern multiple for this stitch is four plus three. Now what that means is you're going to chain in multiples of four, 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 for as wide as you want your project to be, then add three chains at the very end. Now I'm going to make a very small sample for you today. So I'm going to go ahead and chain 16, which is my multiple of four, then add three chains at the end for a total of 19. So that's my 19 chains. And this first row is just the setup row. For the first row, we're going to be working into the fourth chain from our hooks. Now this loop on your hook does not count as anything. You want to count the completed chains hanging down. So one, two, three, four, and into this fourth chain, we're going to place a double crochet stitch. Now those three chains that you have skipped count as a double crochet stitch too. So you've got your skipped chains here, which count as the first stitch, and then a double crochet into the fourth. To complete row one, we are simply going to work a double crochet into every single chain along your row. Now for row two, row two marks the beginning of the four row pattern repeat. Now this is quite a tricky stitch when you are initially learning it. So make sure you take full advantage of the timestamps that are listed in the description box below. So you can flip between the rows until you get used to the pattern. So for row two, we're going to chain three, which counts as your very first double crochet stitch then turn your work. Now place a double crochet into the second stitch along because of course this chain three counts as the first stitch. So work a double crochet into the second. Now we're going to begin the leaf hopper cluster. So bear with it. It may seem tricky at first, but I will go as slowly as possible for you. So the leaf hopper cluster has two legs to it. So we start around one stitch and end around another. Now we're going to start the first leg in this double crochet directly below where you just did your stitch. So the second one in right below where you just placed this double crochet. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to go around this stitch in the row below and draw up a loop. Yarn over, go back around that stitch and draw up a loop. So you should have five loops on your hook. 
yarn over and pull through the first four of those five loops. That is the first leg. Now to complete the second leg, skip the next stitch of the row below and we're going to work into the one after that. So skip a stitch and we're going to do the same thing around this third stitch. So one, two, three, yarn over, go behind the stitch and pull up a loop. Do that again. So you'll now have six loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through these first four. You'll have three loops remaining, yarn over and pull through all three loops. That is your leaf hopper cluster. So we're going to need to flip the work back so you can see what you're doing back here. This is where you placed your double crochet. This stitch, skip it. And we're going to work into the top of the stitch where you just completed your second leg. So skip that stitch and pop a double crochet into the top of the stitch that your second leg of the leaf hopper is attached to. So you'll have one skipped stitch. Work a double crochet in the next two double crochet stitches. Now we're going to do another leaf hopper cluster stitch, starting around the post of the stitch below where you just did a double crochet. We're going to skip one and we're going to finish it in this next stitch. So it's worked over these two stitches here. So again, yarn over, go around the stitch below where you just placed your double crochet and pull up a loop and do the same again. Yarn over and draw through four loops. Then skip a stitch and complete the cluster around that third one. This stitch, I promise, gets easier as you go. Yarn over and pull through the first four loops. Then yarn over and pull through all three. We're going to skip a stitch and work a double crochet into the top of the stitch where you just finished your cluster. And then place a double crochet in the next two. And again, we're going to work a leaf hopper cluster around this first stitch below where you just crocheted and then we're going to end by skip one and end it on this third stitch here. So yarn over, go around the stitch, pull up a loop, do that again. Yarn over and pull through the first four loops. Then skip a stitch and complete the cluster in the third stitch. So draw up a loop twice, yarn over and pull through the first four loops, then yarn over and pull through the remaining three. Place a double crochet into the top of the stitch where you finished your cluster. So you'll have one skipped stitch behind. And in the next two. Again, cluster around the post of the stitch below where you just did your double crochet, skip one and end in this last double crochet here before your chain three. So we're gonna pull up a loop twice. 
yarn over draw through four loops skip a stitch and complete it around the third stitch draw up a loop twice yarn over pull through all four then yarn over and pull through all three then to end we're left with this chain three and the stitch where you just completed the second half of your cluster pop a double crochet into that same stitch and pop a double crochet into the top of your chain three so you start and end row two with two double crochet you have your cluster stitches your leaf hopper cluster stitches with three double crochet in between them for the entire middle of your project for row three chain three which counts as your first double crochet and turn your work ignoring this very first stitch where you chained from because you already have your chain three place a double crochet in the next stitch along then double crochet in the top of every single stitch all the way to the end Don't forget to place a double crochet into the top of your chain three once you reach this very end part of the row. Row four, chain three, which counts as your first double crochet and turn your work. Now this is going to be another leaf hopper cluster row but we're offsetting these clusters. So for this row, place a double crochet in the next three stitches. Remember, your chain three counts as your double crochet, so ignore this first one and work into the second. So that's one, I need two more. Now we're going to begin our leaf hopper cluster stitches. Again, working around the post of the double crochet you have just chained into the top of. So yarn over, go behind that stitch and pull up a loop twice. Yarn over, pull through four loops. Then skip a stitch and complete your leaf hopper cluster around this third stitch. So again yarn over and pull up a loop twice. Yarn over, pull through four loops, then yarn over and pull through all three. Again we're going to skip this stitch and work into the top of the stitch where you have just completed your cluster. And we're going to place a double crochet in the top of that stitch and the next two stitches. Leaf hopper cluster around this post directly below your last double crochet stitch. Skip one and complete it around the third.
crochet directly into the top of this stitch where you've completed the cluster. So skip one, double crochet into the top and into the next two stitches along. So you'd continue this all the way along. Cluster around this post of the stitch below where you have just crocheted. Skip one and around the post of that third stitch. Once you reach the end of the row, you will have three stitches clear and this stitch where you just completed your cluster. Pop a double crochet in the top of that same stitch, just as you have been doing. In the next two double crochet, and in the top of your chain three. So you will have one less cluster on row four, and you will start and end the row with four stitches with three in between. For row five, chain three, which counts as your first double crochet stitch, turn your work and ignoring this first one because your chain three counts, work a double crochet into the next and then work a double crochet into every stitch all the way along including your chain three at the end. So this is how the back of the work looks. You can see very clearly on this row here, these really cool wraparound stitches from your clusters, your leaf hopper clusters on the back. And if you flip it round, this is how it looks on the front. So to continue the pattern, you simply repeat rows two, three, four, and five over and over again. So for row two, you start and end with two double crochet with your three in between your leaf hopper clusters. And then you do a row, a return row of straight double crochet stitches. Then for row four, you start and end with four double crochet with the three in between and finish off with a straight row of double crochet. So for your next row, it would be a repeat of row two. So you would chain three, let's do that quickly now. Turn your work, place a double crochet into the next stitch. Then you would immediately begin your leaf hopper clusters straight in underneath. Now this stitch builds very quickly once you get your head around where these leaf hopper clusters go 
And as I mentioned, it is a stitch that initially seems rather overwhelming, but I promise you after a while, you won't need to think about it at all. And I love the fact that the clusters are formed on the stitch below the one you've just worked into. So you're not having to count back or forth. You know you've done three stitches here. So your cluster begins directly below it. The texture is fantastic. It's a really cool, unique stitch. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please do let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the leaf hopper cluster stitch. It is a bit of a tricky one, but it is really, really awesome and looks fantastic in variegated color changing yarns. And it's just amazing. Look at that when the light hits it. I'm obsessed. I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with this stitch. So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.